It's always interesting to see a flatbed truck on any site. And looking beyond, it was clear that preparations were being made to remove the larger of PDI's two excavators. Down at the water's edge, the crew from Western continued to work on the steel supports on the concrete plinth, reinforcing the structure. An additional upright had been added. Across the gap, on the west side, surveyors from IBW were busy. There's no evidence of supports on the west side. It didn't take PDI very long to remove and load the shear. Attention turned to removing the excavator arm. Uncoupling the hydraulic connections is a task best done carefully. Removing bearing pins can sometimes be a challenge. In these cases, a little bit of mechanical assistance can be very helpful. No excavator has defied the team yet. Whilst PDI was busy with its equipment, Western were busy assembling bundles of bars. A little unexpectedly, the bundles were then moved down to the supports. And while all this was going on, the Tadano crane used by Priestley, departed the site. Several more bundles of the steel bars would be added. The purpose is unclear, but it could be some form of load testing. It didn't affect PDI, who having loaded the arm and the shear, were busy removing steel plates. If you want to know what happens next, then please consider following this channel. And thanks for watching.